Well, I'm a working on a bigger limb. It's a true foundation. I'm a holding up the blood stain, fighting it for my Lord. Well, I never get tired, tired, tired of working on the building. I'm going up to heaven, yet again, my reward, my reward. Well, hello, my fellow Americans and fellow Christians. Thank you for joining me for one more day of peace and freedom here in the United States of America. A.W. Tozer was a well-known Bible preacher. He actually wrote many articles for the Alliance, the Christian Alliance. And he was pretty prophetic concerning America in the future and the evangelical church. In one of his books that I have posted back behind me, God Tells a Man Who Cares. He outlines pretty much what the church is today. He prophetically spoke concerning the church, how it would become a playground, would become worldly, and that the waning authority of Christ would no longer be in the lives of Christian men and women, but they would be adhered more to the world and what it dictated instead of that of what Christ spoke through the Spirit. This is why today I am presenting to you my version of the Annie Gospel. And I have to tell you, I was working on another presentation and was going to make a video until I was engaged in a conversation with a Christian. It was really unimportant just talking. As our interaction continued on a particular subject, it escalated to the point where I asked for some scripture to prove his point. Now he made quite a few overtures biblically to make his case but could not produce the scriptures which would make his case valid. And he still has not. Now I find this a serious issue for our time. The gentleman gave every fact biblically except for the scriptures which proved his case. It is tantamount to the words, Whosoever believes in me shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And never proving Christ's promise, with his profound words scripturally. The realization we must face today is Christians are extremely uneducated and many if not most are not called to secure the reputation of our Lord. Yet, with the outlet of social media, the internet and televangelism, they run as if they are called. But the baton was never passed on to them by Christ through the Holy Ghost. This is so commonplace today that it has become increasingly difficult for Christians to recognize Holy Ghost inspired men and the true gospel of Christ. We have today a anti gospel, a false guide preaching a false Christ, a deceptive gospel so close in reality to the true gospel it has become increasingly hard to recognize truth from error. It is an anti-gospel challenging the true gospel. It is as St. Paul said, they will claim to know God but deny the power thereof. This is in Titus 1.16. This is in our time. And the rewards of the anti-gospel claiming to be of God will be the destruction of the gospel itself. It is the strong delusion spoken of in the scriptures, the falling away, the apostate church, as it is commonly called. Those who are true to Christ honestly and are persuaded to follow this false gospel will be preserved. Unfortunately, the judgment of the church today is the very words they speak and preach. Ye shall know them by their fruits, and blessed is he who hears what the Spirit is saying, to the churches. The Lord will no longer be silent about false preaching. He, know those, he knows those who pollute his gospel. He will bring about their destruction. Their own words as they twist the scriptures for their own benefit shall bring their own demise. These anagospelists speak falsely without Christ's authority. They run to and fro through the nation with no regard for the reputation of Christ. They claim to be called of God, but he never sent them. 
Their anti-gospel is a dark tiding so infectious it will become its own destroyer. I write and speak on various subjects concerning, concerning God and country. The anti-gospel we are experiencing today is by far the most important issue facing the church. It will one day prophetically prove itself to be the retaliatory harbinger of the hand of God against those who support it and preach it. So may you seek the Lord on this matter and be found in Him to be a wise and faithful servant. God bless you and God bless the United States of America. Well, I'm working on the best song. It's a true foundation. I'm holding up the blood stain. It's fine for my blood stain. But I will never get tired. I'm tired of working on the building. I'm going up to hell.